Hello little readers! Today we'll be reading A Dance of Friendship, based on the story by Katherine Holabird. Well done, my darlings, exclaimed Miss Lily at the end of ballet class. Now, before you go, I have some news. The mouselings gathered around Miss Lily. I am sure you remember Anya Musorsky, who visited us from Dakovia last year, said Miss Lily. Anya is coming to Chipping Cheddar this summer to learn ballet. Oh, Alice, Angelina squealed as she grabbed her best friend's paws and spun her in a circle. Isn't that wonderful? That evening, Angelina pleaded with her mother to let Anya stay at their house for the summer. Please, Mom, said Angelina. She won't be any trouble. Of course she won't, said Mrs. Mousling, but where will she sleep? In my room, Angelina insisted. She went over to her father and tugged his arm gently. I want to share my room. Angelina's room was a bit crowded with two beds, but Angelina was too excited to care. We're going to have the best summer ever, she said when Anya finally arrived. We'll share everything. Angelina tucked Anya's books beside her own on the windowsill. She cleared some space on the nightstand for Anya's picture of her parents, and she pulled a pink tutu out of her closet for Anya to wear to ballet class. Thanks, Angelina, said Anya, but I've never done ballet before. What if I don't fit in? Angelina put an arm around her friend. Don't worry, Anya, she said. I'll look after you. I promise. At ballet class the next day, Anya worked very hard to follow Angelina's steps. You dance so well, Anya, exclaimed Alice when the music ended. It's as if you've been doing ballet for ages. When Miss Lily asked the mouselings to choose partners to make up a special dance, Angelina was worried. Would Alice be hurt if Angelina danced with Anya? But Alice didn't mind at all, and Anya had a wonderful idea. She and Angelina would dance the story of the Kingfishers. It's a Dakovian story, explained Anya, about two Kingfishers who are good friends and stay together their whole lives. How lovely, said Miss Lily, a dance of friendship. She pulled the two mouselings into a warm embrace. Angelina and Anya practiced their special dance every day at ballet class. Anya's steps soon became as graceful as Angelina's. Anya, you are doing so well, Miss Lily said when the partners finished their dance. Then Miss Lily pulled Angelina aside. The Dakovian Ballet is coming to the Theatre Royale again, said Miss Lily. I think it's a good idea for me to invite Anya this year, don't you? Angelina was terribly disappointed. Miss Lily always took her to the Dakovian Ballet. It wasn't fair. But all Angelina could say was, yes, Miss Lily. Good then, said Miss Lily, patting Angelina's shoulder, and tell your mother I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. That evening, everyone fussed over the Dakovian dinner that Anya had helped to prepare. I'm going to show Mrs. Mousling how to make cheese souffle too, Anya said to Miss Lily, who sat across the table from her. Angelina sighed and played with her food. She wished she could think of something else to talk about. Then she spotted the Kingfisher costumes hanging in the corner. What do you think of our costumes, Miss Lily? Angelina asked brightly. They're beautiful, said Miss Lily. Anya's learning ballet so fast, she said to Mrs. Mousling. Soon she'll apply to the Dakovian Ballet Academy. Anya, 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 thought Angelina miserably. Why wouldn't everyone stop talking about Anya? After dinner, Angelina found Anya sitting in the dark bedroom, staring at the picture of her parents. She looked lonely and for a moment Angelina felt sorry for her. Then Angelina realized where Anya was sitting. That's my bed, Angelina snapped. Anya jumped off the bed in surprise. Oh, she said, but I thought we were sharing everything. I'm not so sure now, said Angelina. Jealous, angry words tumbled out of her mouth. I'm tired of hearing about how talented you are, Angelina cried, and how great Dakovia is. Maybe you should just, you just should have stayed there. When Angelina awoke the next morning, she was feeling very sorry for the way she had acted. But when she turned to apologize to Anya, Angelina saw that Anya's bed was empty. Angelina raced downstairs to the kitchen. Have you seen Anya? Angelina asked her mother desperately. No, said Miss Mousling. Isn't she in your room? Angelina rushed out the front door without answering, but the sound of the ringing telephone called her back. Oh, hello, Miss Lily, said Mrs. Mousling into the receiver. 
Anya's at your house? Good gracious, I had no idea. Minutes later, Angelina sat, her head hung low in Miss Lily's parlor. She was too ashamed to look at Miss Lily. I'm very disappointed in you, said Miss Lily. How would you like to be away from your parents for such a long time? I wouldn't, Angelina answered in a small voice. Oh, I've been so mean to Anya. Please, may I see her and apologize? Of course you may, said Miss Lily. She disappeared down the hall and Angelina waited nervously in the parlor. But when Miss Lily returned, Anya wasn't with her. I'm sorry, said Miss Lily gently, but Anya doesn't wish to see you. Perhaps you can speak to her at ballet class. Angelina's heart sank. Would Anya ever forgive her? At ballet class, Angelina spotted Anya across the room, talking with William. Angelina took a deep breath, then hurried over. But Anya wasn't happy to see Angelina. I don't want to dance with you, Anya said frostily. I'm dancing with Alice. After class, a very sad Angelina trudged home beside Alice. I just wish she'd let me apologize, said Angelina. Alice felt terrible. I wish I could help, she said. Anya wants to practice down by the river with me, wearing your costume, so that we'll feel like real kingfishers. Angelina stopped in her tracks and smiled thoughtfully. Now she knew just how to apologize to Anya. Angelina dressed in her kingfisher costume and hurried down to the river. Anya was already there. Hi, Alice, Anya called. Angelina breathed a sigh of relief as she took her starting position. Anya didn't recognize her. On the count of three, the mouselings began to dance across the grassy riverbank. They fluttered apart and then swooped back together, just like real kingfishers. They dipped slow and rose up again, wings outstretched. When the dance ended, Angelina pulled off her mask. I'm sorry, Anya, she whispered anxiously, hoping Anya wouldn't be angry that she had been fooled. Anya was silent for a moment, and then she burst into tears. I'm sorry, too, she cried. She threw her arms open wide, and the two friends hugged each other tightly. Weeks later, after leaving the Theatre Royale, Angelina and Anya sat together in a bus seat, chatting excitingly. Wasn't the prince amazing? asked Angelina. Oh, yes, said Anya. Thank you, Miss Lily. It was the best show I've ever seen. Miss Lily, who was seated behind the two mouselings, leaned forward. And to think, she said, that my darling Angelina believed she wasn't going to the Decovian Ballet this year when I had three tickets all along. That evening, Anya started packing her things, because tomorrow she would return home. She handed the pink tutu to Angelina. Oh, no, Angelina insisted. Keep it. What's mine is yours, remember, she said warmly. And this time, Angelina truly meant it. The end. For more stories, please subscribe to our channel little readers.